Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to give you a brief overview of one of the strategic programs that the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult is currently driving forwards uh, with regards to improving operational availability and reliability in the offshore wind sector. The UK is one of the world leaders in operating offshore wind farms and has an opportunity to use that to competitive advantage by lowering costs and creating new business and employment opportunities. However, the industry lacks transparency on operating asset availability and performance. This lack of knowledge restricts the efficiency by which lessons are being shared across the industry and therefore slows progress. So this in turn reduces operational efficiency and increases exposure to risk, resulting in a higher cost of energy. So for an industry that receives significant public funding, a greater degree of transparency needs to be embraced by res whilst respecting legitimate commercial concerns. Sparta has been created as a benchmarking tool for initially the owner operators of UK offshore wind farms, looking at their operational availability and performance. It stands for System Performance, Availability and Reliability Trend Analysis. And the program collects data from these areas into a database, which then provides outputs which highlight trends in the data against sector benchmarks. The first version of this system has been made available to own operators last month. The aim is to facilitate cross-industry sector collaboration to reduce levelized cost of energy for offshore renewable energy. This is to be achieved by supporting improvements and investment in the availability, reliability, and performance of offshore wind assets. This will be driven by robust and reliable operational data collected at system level which is then analyzed and reported upon in the form of sector benchmarks. The database itself is a web-based system solution for the collection and presentation of operational data against approximately 70 performance metrics. The data for these metrics is taken, as I said, at a system level, which is from blade to the offshore substation, rather than a component level, which reduces the complexity of the data gathering process and its management and reduces resource effort on owner operators for reporting the requirements in. The input data is aggregated so that anonymity is preserved for each owner operator. The IT solution has confidentiality of data and security aspects built into it. Output graphs allow relative performance to be understood and acted on by owner operators. Crucially, each owner operator can view their own data their own KPIs over time, and also benchmark against the sector high, low, and average values to inform improvement initiatives across the sector, thus helping drive sector innovation and economic development. All non-owner operator entities can only view the aggregated sector-wide data. The program itself is co-sponsored by the Catapult along with the Crown Estate, and this, is this likely to be the first of further joint initiatives expected in the future? The key aspects of these being the sharing of and learning from knowledge. In particular for the Catapult, whose vision is to have abundant, affordable energy from offshore wind, wave, and tide, this project utilizes our neutral position in the sector by building on technical expertise, driving collaboration across the industry, and supporting the development of innovative technology with SMEs leading to improved operation performance. So really, what's in it for the owner-operators themselves? The Sparta project itself provides a benchmarking capability across sector metrics to highlight where innovation should be driven, thus obtaining operational improvement and consequential cost reductions. The project is supported through investment from the Catapult and the Crown Estate initially for the benefit of the owner operators and the industry sector. That the participating owner operators have control over future enhancements of the system through voting rights on a steering group. With regards to the data itself, the data sets are anonymized to protect confidentiality and extend beyond the traditional turbine focus to include benchmarking of a complete balance of plant to the offshore substation. The Sparta data, data set complements that of the Fraunhofer Offshore Wind Monitoring Evaluation Program, and close links are being developed between the two systems to ensure they, they do enhance each other. 
The database also accommodates historical data, allowing a deeper data set to be available for trend analysis. Owner operators have been engaged since the outset of the project in late 2013, with the metrics and outputs agreed with the owner operators prior to the database development. Access to the database itself is controlled by the participating owner operators, adding an extra layer of comfort to the security and confidentiality of the data. The web system itself for the owner operators is secure and stable using an underpinning IT platform. It's simple to use and easy for the owner operators to update and provides the owner operators a platform for further data and knowledge sharing. Sparta is managed by a steering group, which is composed of one voting member from each of the participating owner operators and includes industry representatives in advisory roles who are non-voting members. The steering group representatives from the two project sponsors, the Catapult and the Crown Estate, are executive members taking responsibility for overall liaison with stakeholders and the running of the project. There are currently nine own operators signed up through a memorandum of understanding, and in addition to those nine, the project is currently actively talking with other developers regarding their potential membership also. The more owner operators there are involved, the higher the quality of the sector data and the benchmarking available. The role of the steering group is to provide direction and leadership to the Sparta project towards achieving the agreed project objectives. Specific matters that require consideration by this group include, amongst others, the voting rights on voting in new owner operators, design approval for data inputs and output metrics, testing and validation of input data and output metrics individually and at aggregated levels, assessing the progress of the project, reporting on the project to senior management in their participating organizations, and using their own influence and authority to assist the project in achieving outcomes. So whereabouts are we now with this program? The timeline of the phases of the Sparta project is shown pictorially here in the diagram. The initial proof of concept phase was about six months in duration from October last year, and its aim was to deliver a database solution based on agreed key core metrics surrounding performance, reliability, and availability. It developed a secure process for the uploading of monthly data from the owner operators, and developed the analysis for the aggregated outputs. Through testing, the confidentiality of the data provided by the owner operators has been confirmed. This stage of testing has now been completed as planned, resulting in a Sparta database system that the owner operators have now started to engage with. The project is currently at the start of the 12-month pilot operation phase. The participating owner operators now have access to the system, allowing them to become familiar with its operation and functionality before going live with the inputting of real operational data later in the summer against the defined metrics across performance, availability, and reliability. The intention is for owner operators to have provided at least 12 months of real operational data by the time we reach March next year. The project team are actively looking to increase the list of the participating operators during this pilot year as the quality of the data in the system will improve the more owner operators there are participating. Work has already commenced on the development of further options for the system, along with the planning for the expected continuation of operation of the Sparta solution past this 12 months of pilot year from April next year onwards. In addition to the two phases described, the diagram also demonstrates the overarching contractual aspects of the project in terms of the signing of an initial memorandum of understanding between an owner operator and the Sparta project, allowing them full rights on the steering group through to the development of a full contractual agreement with the owner operators before the enduring project begins next spring. While the Sparta pro project is progressing, you can see there's ongoing collaboration and alignment with the Fraunhofer Offshore Wind Monitoring and Evaluation Program to ensure consistency across the sector. Before we get to next April, there'll be a decision gate at which point the future operation of the Sparta system will be determined and then implemented for further for going forwards. This slide shows examples of the high level measures of the data inputs. The data submitted into the Sparta database consists of static or reference data 
and also variable data for each participating wind farm. A wind farm owner must provide a general reference data set which captures all of the fixed parameters describing the wind farm shown on the left hand side. Once a wind farm is registered in the Sparta system, the wind farm owner will then upload a data set every month capturing a high level description of the wind farm performance that month. Top level topics are shown on the right hand side for example. These monthly variable data sets are then anonymized and analyzed with the other sector data sets and the system of Sparta then produces various forms of benchmarking outputs. Three of these form of outputs are shown on the following slide as examples of the benchmarking analysis that will be seen by the owner operators. It's important to remember, to remember just at this stage that the outputs presented here are just using representative data in order to test the functionality of the full Sparta system. But it does provide you with a good appreciation of how the data will be viewed. The first output type on the left hand side is shown in the form of a line graph with limit markers or candlestick graph. In this example, the graph shows average wind farm capacity factor against time for a 12 month period. The bars display the sector maximum and minimum values for a specific month. With the blue dotted line, you might not just be able to see. Um, for the sector average values across the periods and there's a solid red line which shows the performance of that particular wind farm against the sector. This particular graph with the red line can only be accessed by that particular owner operator for that particular wind farm. The second type of output on the top right hand side is the form of a, a relative performance. This example shows how one wind farm compares against the sector averages for mean time between repairs in this case for a range of wind turbine components for a particular month with a longer mean time between failures than the sector average being shown in green. Conversely, the red metrics show that mean times are shorter than the average and possibly, possibly highlighting areas that may need further investigation. Sparta is considered a benchmarking tool because the performance and reliability outputs such as the failure, failure and repair data shown in this example are reported as percentages of sector values. The third output type on the bottom right hand side is a heat or intensity graph. This is similar to the example above it but shows trends over a number of months as opposed to a snapshot of a single month. Instead of quantifying reliability as a numerical percentage of the sector average, a color gradient is used to indicate how the particular wind farm compares with the sector averages. Therefore, the owner operator can use this heat map to quickly benchmark reliability of major components and identify in which months major failures were a significant issue compared to the sector. The darker the green, the better, as the mean time between repairs is longer than the sector average for that particular repair type. So hopefully you begin to see the value and benefit of obtaining robust, reliable benchmarking data for the sector and the industry to inform operation improvement initiatives across the sector, thus helping drive technical innovation and economic development. So finally, what about Sparta going forwards as a concept? During this pilot year, this year, all those participating in the Sparta Offshore Wind Project will decide how best the system and solution should be developed and implemented for the enduring operational period. It is anticipated there will be software updates and system improvements to be implemented, and these will be determined once the system is fully up and running with real data and providing real benchmarking outputs. As the Sparta model is fully flexible, it also has great potential to be applicable to all phases of an offshore renewable energy development project and to be able to expand from the initial UK offshore wind farms through to non-UK offshore wind farms and potentially onshore wind farms. Ultimately, the principle of SPARTA could also be applied to wave and tidal arrays once operational data is available in the future. The project sponsors, the Catapult and the Crown Estate, and also the participating owner operators are looking forward to Sparta becoming live this summer so that it can start to highlight areas for operational improvement in performance, availability and reliability to enable innovative solutions to be developed to reduce cost for the sector. Thank you for listening this afternoon. Thank you.